I have good news and bad news. If you make $10,000 a month as a copywriter, you're poor. Even if you make $20,000 a month as a copywriter, you're still poor. That was the bad news. Good news is we can fix it and you can use the same skill that got you to 10K a month to get you to 50, maybe 100K a month. It's very rare that you hear me talking about copywriters who make 100K a month because those copywriters are rare. And I'm not gonna set that expectation for you because I don't want you to get freaked out. Everyone starts between five, 10K a month. That's like where everyone's gonna be when they first go. It's not gonna be like you just skyrocket right to 100K a month. But you can get there, like I said, with the same skill set if you follow a certain set of rules, a different set of rules. I know people that are making $10,000 a month from one client and they have multiple of those clients. There's really just a few small differences in the way that those people deliver their service versus how you're doing it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the path to become a copywriting growth partner so you can make some more fucking money, let's go. Before I say anything, a lot of people are gonna be upset because I just call everyone who makes $10,000 a month poor. Are you actually poor? Not really. You're like perfectly in the middle class. And if you want to live anywhere in America, pretty much, you'll be totally fine. But one thing that I've learned as a business owner is that you're always poor. It doesn't matter how much money you make. I know a guy, he's like a mentor to me who makes a million dollars a month and he calls himself poor. The reason for that is because the guy down the block is making $5 million a month. And guess what? He probably calls himself poor too. Today, I got put in contact with a guy who makes $12 million a month. That's his personal take home. And that's because he owns a company that you've definitely heard of if you're a sick little freak. The whole point of business is to call yourself poor so much that you just make more money. And then you can decide one day when you feel like you're not poor anymore. But I've had months where I've made close to $600,000 because of my marketing skills. And I still call myself poor. There's still so far to go. So if you're thinking 10K a month, you're hot shit, you're not. You need to do a couple different things so you can make more money. You also need to understand that as a copywriter, as a marketer, as a freelance marketer, which is what you are if you're a copywriter, you can only charge as much as the value you bring to the customer. So if you're writing emails that make your client $1,000 a month, you're probably not gonna make more than $1,000 a month because it wouldn't be a good investment for the business, right? But if you can think of a way to make half a million dollars a month for your client, that opens up a whole new world of opportunity where you can charge a ton of money. And most of the time, you're not gonna get half a million dollars of value out of just a little email list. That's very uncommon. So you need to build a complementary skill set. So let me set this up. If you're like just starting and you think you wanna charge two or three K a month, or you're actually charging two or three K a month for your clients, just do an email right now, that's fine. But this is gonna go up over time, okay? You need to build more skills because you're probably only offering one thing or thinking about offering one thing. And for most people, this is email. This is how I started. This is how literally everyone starts. Or you're doing little one-off websites or you're writing product descriptions or like maybe a couple ads for people. Like it's usually just small things that you're doing for your client. Your job, if you wanna make more money as a copywriter, as a freelance marketer, you have to figure out all of the ways that these businesses can bring in business and make more money outside of just email. Now, a lot of businesses are super complicated, but there's one business that's really not complicated. And this is the perfect type of client if you're trying to be a growth partner, copywriter thing. And it's what I've been telling you to do this whole time. It's info products, course sellers, coaching programs, consultants, whatever you want to call them. These are people that are selling a digital product online. With e-com, it gets really tough to like, you know, do all of this stuff for the business because there's so many things going on. With SaaS, unless you know how to code, don't even worry about that shit. Local businesses don't have any money to pay you, so just ignore them. We're going for info businesses. The reason for that is because there's so many of them these days, and a lot of them are making scary amounts of money. So when you think about an info product business, try and think about how you as a marketer and as a copywriter can expand your skills so you can take other pieces of the pie. I could go super in depth about all the different things that coaching businesses, info product businesses need to grow, but I'm just gonna give you a list because I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea how much you know already. I'm just gonna give you the stuff that I think will benefit you, just individual skills you can learn so you can start printing for these people. The way you need to understand this is that there's really only two mechanisms that can make a company like this more money. It's traffic, and conversions. So traffic means the people coming in, right? So the people that are finding out about this business, wanting to learn more, and then proceeding through the funnel. And then conversions is about how many of those people are actually buying. So the traffic job is to get like a thousand people, right? And the conversions job is to get as many of those a thousand people to actually spend money with the client, the business as possible. And so if you've never seen what these businesses look like, or you're not like, you know, you're kind of new to business, then I'm not mad at you if you don't really understand how this stuff works. But let me just kind of break it down for you. Info businesses are using Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, YouTube Shorts, Facebook ads, podcasts, all kinds of different like media outlets 
to get people to figure out who they are and what their company does and bring them to their website. Let's use a real estate coaching business as an example. On their Instagram, they have a bunch of videos that are going out all the time talking about real estate, how to invest and stuff like that. On their stories, they have them doing their sort of day in the life type stuff. Here I am at one of my properties and then maybe they'll have like some sort of inspirational quote and then maybe they'll have a call to action sometimes with a story that says, hey, if you wanna get started, like just DM me. And then their bio, they also might have like DM me house and I'll help you figure out how to start your real estate journey. And then on TikTok and YouTube shorts, they're probably doing the same sort of thing. They're just like posting short videos that are helping to educate people on what the you know program looks like, what real estate is, how to make money with it, their story. And then for YouTube, when we're talking long form. These are usually like 10 to 20 minute videos of people explaining more about real estate, how it works, how to invest, whatever. And then with ads, those are obviously like very direct call outs where it's like, hey, I teach real estate. You wanna get rid of real estate. If you wanna learn real estate, buy this thing right now. That's like direct response. Now think about all the words, whether spoken or written, that have to go into all of that content that I just talked about. All of the scripts for reels and TikTok and YouTube shorts and all the stuff they have to put on their Instagram story and all of the scripts for the long form stuff and all of the ads and the creatives and the copy on the ads. Who do you think is writing that? The client's not writing that unless they're extremely gifted, which most business owners are not. So, fuck ton of content that you can write for them and get paid really well to do. Now, remember, that's just the traffic. What about the conversion side? When someone clicks on an ad or DMs the profile or like goes to the link in the bio and clicks on that, what do you think is happening? They're going to a website. They're going to what's called a sales page, a funnel. On that, they have probably anywhere between 1,000 to 5,000 words of copy. You got the headline. That's like, here's how you can make passive income with real estate. And then you got like thousands of words of copy below that's like trying to sell you on whatever the fuck they're trying to sell you. And then in the middle of the page, you got a VSL, which is usually like a really long video of the business owner explaining to you how to invest in real estate and all this stuff. And again, trying to sell you on their business model. And then you have other pages on the website, like when they click a button that they want to apply, like what does it say on the next page? And then if they get a bunch of emails, they get a bunch of emails from you, they're going to get flows and campaigns and all kinds of stuff. They're going to get SMS, like text messages. And if you have a sales background, maybe you even want to write sales scripts so that when they you know, book a call or they have dialers you know, hitting these leads up that are clicking on this page, like maybe you wanna write that too. What I just described is pretty much all of the writing that will have to go into a business like this. And the crazy part is you would be shocked at how much money these info product businesses make, these coaches, these course sellers, these consultants, whatever. I know a couple people selling real estate programs that are making well over a million a month from their operation. These people are super established, they're not the perfect client for you, but they started somewhere. This is all hypothetical. But just hear me out for a sec. If you have all of those skills that I just talked about and you can take a client and you can you know, say, hey, listen, I know you're 100K a month right now. I want 10% of the upside. I want to make you more than 100K a month and you get to keep all the money you're making right now, but anything above 100K a month, I want 10% of. You can say, I'm gonna run your traffic, I'm gonna write scripts for you, I'm gonna write long scripts for YouTube, I'm gonna help you with your social media campaign, I'm gonna help you with your stories, I'm gonna redo your website, give you a better funnel, I'm gonna write your entire sales page, I'm gonna do a VSL for you, I'm gonna script everything you need, I'm gonna write emails and SMS and sales scripts, and all that's gonna be done for you. I'm gonna do it, you don't have to. And now listen, this is a lot of work. You might not even be able to do this by yourself. You might need to hire another writer. If you can get this business to $500,000 a month, which sounds crazy, really not that crazy. A lot of people do it. You can make $40,000 by taking 10% of everything after 100K a month. $40,000 a month from one client. That's half a million dollars a year. And if you're super talented and you've been doing this for like three, four, five years, and you're a really good marketer like some of these guys out here, and you can get them from 100K a month to a million a month, that's $90,000 a month from one client. Now let me just say, before I continue, this is all hypothetical. I don't have a $90,000 a month client. I don't know anybody right now that has a $90,000 a month client. Realistically, they're probably gonna renegotiate. Like once they start paying you past 50K a month, they're gonna be like, whoa, okay, this is a lot. Like well, maybe we can just renegotiate down, something like that. That'll probably happen. But the idea that you can get a client from 100K a month to even 300K a month, and they start paying you 20K a month just from that, that one client because you're making them an extra 200K a month and they're giving you 10%, that's very possible. I've had that happen. My students have had that happen. My friends have had that happen. This is something that is severely doable. Now let's talk about like where to actually find these deals. First thing about these deals, it's gonna be tough if you have no credibility and no case studies or anything for you to get a client that's gonna pay you 10% of their upside, you know, 
if, of their growing business. It's gonna be kind of hard to do. If this is your first few months of doing copywriting, it's gonna be unlikely that you're gonna find someone who's willing to do that kind of deal for you. So just be patient, okay? Like I said at the beginning, it's fine if you're starting with two to three to 4K a month retainers, because that's how everyone starts. But a good way to get your feet wet with some of these deals is just to use your existing clients. Most people's first client is gonna be an info business that makes probably between 30 to 50K a month, and they're probably making like two grand a month just writing emails, right? Let's say when you started, they were you know, making a grand a month from email, and then you started sending more emails and you did a really good job and they start making 10 grand a month from email. That's pretty possible. And you can say to them, you'd be like, yo, Look what I did for your email list. Imagine if I touched every part of your business. And they'd be like, well, what do you mean? And you'd be like, well, you had money sitting there and because I'm a good copywriter, I was able to draw that out of your audience and I put it in your pocket and I got two grand for it. That's great, but we should do this everywhere else. And they're like, huh, okay. And you can look at their business. You can see like, all right, your content's fucking weak. Your website sucks. Your VSL sucks. Your sales system sucks. You can ask them like, what would it look like if you got double the traffic and double the conversions on your website. That person would go from 50K a month to 100K a month fairly quickly just by changing those two things. So you say, hey, listen, how about this? Let's just start doing everything. Let's do a full overhaul. I wanna do everything. I wanna handle your content. I wanna start scripting content for you so we can handle this like marketers because I'm a marketer, you might not be, and I'm gonna redo your VSL and I'm gonna make it slap. And in exchange, you're at 50K a month right now, I want 10% of all the money that you get on top of that. And they'll be like, okay, well, I'm already making 50K a month. I get to keep that 50K a month and I'm gonna make more money and all I have to do is give 10% of it to this kid who's gonna fucking do everything for my business. Or maybe you're not a kid, maybe you're a grown ass woman, I don't know. But this is how these deals kind of start. And so let's say, you know, over two months, you make them an extra $50,000 a month from their content starts going up and they start converting way more. If you keep your retainer of 2K a month and you add an extra 5,000, you just made seven grand from one client. And this is a minnow, this is a guppy. $100,000 a month is nothing in terms of most businesses, right? Remember when I said you're poor? Buddy down the street is doing fucking five million a month. So you can either continue working with them and keep growing them and maybe get them to 200K a month and then you start, what would that be? 17K a month, something like that? I don't know. And then you have a massive case study from this one business and you can go and take that and be like, hey, other business, look what I just did for this person over here. You're not a competitor, so it's not like, you know, bad for me to do this. You're not a competitor, so I can work with both of you. How about I do the same for your business and I blow you up? And they're like, all right, cool, what do you charge? 5K base, 10% of upside revenue. That's what you can say. Next thing you know, you have two clients that are each paying you over $10,000 a month. You're working less than you ever have. You're making a ton of money and you have clients that you actually enjoy working with and it's just a dream business for you. You're just living your life doing whatever the fuck you want. You can go on vacation, you can hire somebody, you can you know, get a dog, because that requires time. You can buy a cool car, you can upgrade your crib. What else can you do with money? I don't know. Now, I hope you don't need proof that this actually works, but in case you do, my friend Ben Bader was one of those two, three, four K a month copywriters. He was working with basketball trainers, and he was actually, I think he was making like a grand a month just running Facebook ads and writing ads for them and doing random stuff. And I think his peak month was like ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. One full year later, he started partnering with like four or five businesses at a time and doing this model where he's just like doing all kinds of stuff for them. He was doing webinars mostly, rewriting their sales page, helping them out with traffic, doing all kinds of stuff to just fix their broken business. And he started making hundred K a month like a few months ago, it's crazy. And then we have the legendary Bo, who I talk about in every fucking video, but she's such a good case study, I can't stop talking about it. So a couple months back, she made $70,000 in a month. Do you think she has 70 clients paying her a grand a month? No. She's got like six or seven clients and they all paid her on performance because she does good work. She knows how to like just milk money out of a business. And she got there in like eight months or something crazy. Bo is kind of a bad example because she's like so smart that you're probably not gonna be her, but in two or three years, if you actually just follow the playbook and try really hard, like, yeah, it's very possible for you to do that. And this is where the real wealth starts. I've made videos on this before and I've made content about this before, but you understand that like baby copywriters make, you know, five, 10 K a month and that's fine. But the skill of copywriting is so powerful that it will be the thing that makes you millions. Like you can get to hundred K a month just with this, doing this model where you're basically just taking a piece of someone's business, being a growth marketer, a growth partner, growth operator, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and just scaling it to the moon, taking a piece, and laughing. If you wanna learn more about this, this is like very in-depth stuff, and the only place I can talk more about this is inside the coaching program. So I have a program called The Inner Circle, where basically you hop in, we hold your hand to 10K a month, and we can actually show you exactly how all this stuff works. We just added a whole new section where it's like all of the growth partner stuff you need to know, and if you wanna eventually sign clients like this where you're getting paid 10, 15, 20K per client, you have to see this stuff. We do calls on it all the time, it's one of the things that we pride ourselves on is we've made students like severely rich just because of this. If you wanna get that, 
click the link in the description. We can hop on a call with you, see if you're a good fit, and then get you started ASAP. If you enjoyed this video, click like. What was the other one? Comment. This third one. Subscribe? I think it's that. Oh, click the bell too.